All right, this just rang up as a 10 on the Equinox 800 and uh, green showed and this came out, which is a button of some sort, two piece button at the back. I didn't clean it off. Hope to be a civil war. It looks like it's coming apart, so I gotta be really gentle. Hopefully it's a eagle. All right, I'll try to clean it off gently and I'll show you in a second. So this is all as far as I'm going to go for right now. Maybe I'm a little bit more at home, but it's going to start to uh, disintegrate. I'm pretty sure it's an eagle. So, I'll see you on the next one. This is the first button I've found in a long time, so that's cool. Alright, see you on the next one. Yeah, I got this button here. Two-piece. It's in pretty bad shape. It's starting to deteriorate. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to restore it. I'm thinking maybe super glue layer on the inside of each piece. Uh, I'm not sure though. Um, just trying to restore so it doesn't fall apart any further. So, I don't know. I was looking for super glue. I only have Gorilla Glue. So maybe this will work. I'm not sure because for one, it's all corroded. Might not adhere very well. Also, Gorilla Glue glue expands a little bit so I gotta be careful with that um, other than that it might work slide is a layer of Gorilla Glue to each side inner side um, as you can see it coats the entire inside inside uh, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna stick them together and uh, maybe put a penny on top or um, some kind of thing on top just to hold it down, the piece down so it doesn't expand and like distort the shape and stuff. So hopefully it'll be good. As you can see right there, it's completely coated. There's a little dirt in that one still. Like I was saying, it's still corroded and somewhat dirty. I didn't run it under water or anything. I just used a toothbrush. So let's hope for the best. I'll keep you keep you uh, up to date. Alright, so if you can see, I zoomed in on the side. There's a lot of space in between the two halves. So I might put a gob of Gorilla Glue in there. Um, I don't know if it'll expand enough to uh, come to back together to hold them together. So I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, they're stuck together so they'll adhere together and hopefully it'll expand enough to uh, give it some support on the inside um, but if not there's that layer on the inside that will um, support the fragile piece so I'm just gonna leave it see how it turns out and I'll show you when it's dry there's an update it's probably been 45 minutes or so uh, the glue has expanded a lot so there's definitely enough in there. It is oozing out of the holes. So, I'm going to put a heavier weight on top, probably a bullet. And the, the glue that's coming out the holes, I'll just cut off with an X-Acto knife. But it'll be secure and shouldn't crumble anymore. So, other than that, it looks pretty good. So I'll show you when it's done. There's an update. It's probably been 45 minutes or so. Uh, the glue has expanded a lot. So there's definitely enough in there. It is oozing out of the holes. So I'm going to put a heavier weight on top, probably a bullet. And the, the glue that's coming out the holes, I'll just cut off with an X-Acto knife. But it'll be secure and it shouldn't crumble anymore. So other than that, it looks pretty good. So I'll show you when it's done. All right, here's the final product. Um, not really happy about it, just because of the Gorilla Glue color. If it was uh, super glue, it wouldn't have had the expansion. Um, 
and it wouldn't be yellow on the edges, but I, I trimmed it with a exacto knife the best I could. So there's, sorry, the edge of the button already was uh, deteriorating, so that's why there's a hole there. Let me turn it around. So, at least it held it together, I would say, and solid on the inside too. So, other than that, it's better than what it was. I'll show you before and after pics. Alright, thanks for watching.